Hi, it's Lori Brown with EmpoweredNurses.org, where we empower nurses to speak their mind, stand in their power, and be a change agent to improve patient care. We've talked before about the gifts. The gifts, when empowered nurses use their gifts, they can speak their mind, stand in their power, and of course, be a change agent to improve patient care. And when empowered nurses don't, that's when problems can occur. So we've already talked about what the gifts stand for, giving, integrity, focus and follow through, trust, and source. And today we're gonna to dive deep, specifically in the I, the integrity one. This is such an important topic. So I being an integrity doesn't just mean telling the truth because you know we're all very honest people anyways. It's not just about telling the truth, but it's being in touch with your core values and what's important to you. So if you're a person that values health and wellness, the first thing you do when you get out of bed is you put on those tennis shoes and go for a run or whatever you do. And you don't think about, oh, what can I have for breakfast, pancakes or French toast? Because health is a core value. Not for me, but I'm working on it. <laughs> anyway, so whatever your core values are, are you in line with those core values? We all have similar core values, you know, being kind to others, being do unto others as they would want to do to you, things like that. But are we acting in terms of our core value? Like how I know the other day I was on the phone with our uh, computer company, um, Comcast, for our cable, and I was so frustrated. And I have this core value of being nice to people and treating people with respect and dignity. And I have to be honest, I really was pushing my buttons to be nice. So being in integrity is all the time, 24 seven, being in integrity in line with your core values, in line with what's important to you. And of course the honesty and the trustworthiness is important as well because everybody wants a nurse who's honest and trust trustworthy. But when you do your charting, are you documenting accurately what you're seeing? Are you documenting accurately what the patients are telling you? Um, I've had situations where employers have asked their nurses to go back and fill in holes in the medical record. And is that being an integrity? If you know exactly what the holes were and you actually remember doing that task, then make it a late entry and that's fine. But to just blatantly put your name in because your supervisor asked you to fill in the holes, Again, that's where trouble can occur. Uh, on your renewal application, it asks you, have you been terminated or disciplined in your capacity as a registered nurse or healthcare provider in the past two years? Um, are you honest about that? What about attendance? If you've been written up for attendance, you've got to mark yes, you've got to let them know. That's being an integrity. Because if you don't, again, that's where the problems can occur. So remember your eye and integrity, know your core values, and being in line with them. And then you can be an empowered nurse. So have an empowering day, and until next time, happy nursing.